hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make this uh, really cute string ray fish okay so get your materials ready and let's get started okay so we're going to crochet two of these in different colors so in my case i'm going to use the white yarn and the gray yarn okay and we are going to start with a chain eight so chain one two three four five six seven and eight okay so then starting in the second chain from the hook we are going to do seven single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six and seven okay and then i'm going to do a chain one and turn and then i'm going to do seven single crochets one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, in the third row, I'll do the same thing. I'll do a chain one turn and do single crochets all the way across okay and then i'll do a chain one and turn Okay, so now from this round, which is the fifth round, until the fifteenth round, we are going to start increasing both sides of the row. Okay, so I'll increase the first stitch. And then I'll do single crochet all the way through. And then also in the last stitch, I'll increase. Okay, I'll do a chain one and turn. I'll do the same thing in the in this row, which is the sixth row. So I'm going to increase. And then I'll do single crochets. And then I'll increase in the last stitch. Okay, so we'll repeat the same thing uh, as this row, also in the next row, which is the, the seventh row, until you get to the 15th row. So you just chain one and then increase here, do single crochet and increase the last, last stitch. Okay, so uh, you'll do that until you get to the 15th row. So I'll see when you're done with the 15th row so that we start the 16th row together. Okay, so after you're done with the 15th row, you should have something that looks like this. So now we're going to start with the 16th row. Uh, and for that, we're going first to cut off the yarn over here. So I'm going to do a chain one. And then I'm going to cut off the yarn. Okay, and then I'm going to come to this other side and count 12 uh, stitches. So I'll count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then I'm going to attach my yarn here on the 13th stitch. Okay, 
okay and then i'm going to do a chain one when i touch here so starting from where i attached i'm going to do single crochet in the next six stitches so i'll do single crochet one two three four five and six okay and then after that i'll do a chain one and turn so i'll do a i'll do single crochet all the way to the end so one two three four five and six okay and then i'll do a chain one and turn okay so now starting from here this row which is the 18th row i'll start to skip the first stitch so i'll skip the first stitch and starting in the next i'll do single crochet all the way so we'll have five stitches so three four five and then here i won't do a chain one i'll just turn and then skip the first stitch and do four single crochets one two three four okay so again i won't do a chain one i'll just turn and then skip the first stitch and do single crochet in the next three stitches so I'll do one two and three okay so now starting from here i'll do a chain one and then do single crochets all the way so one two and three okay then i'll do a chain one and then i'll repeat the same thing do single crochet all the way for the next eight rows so until you get to the 29th row okay so i'll see you when you're done with the 29th row so that we'll do the 30th row together okay so after the 29th row your tail should look like this as you can see okay so now we're going to finish up and in the 30th row we are going just to turn around we are not going to do a chain one then skip the first stitch and then we're going to do single crochet in the remaining two stitches and then now in our last row we are going to turn around and do single crochet in the last stitch and then i'll do a chain one and cut off the yarn okay so now after that now i'm going to explain how i did the mouth is quite easy so you, you where i use the red color so what you do is you do a chain eight and then starting from the second chain from the hook you're going to do seven single crochets for three rows so you'll have you'll have a total of uh four rows as you can see okay so now we are going to join the two parts together so you're just going to put them like this adjacent to each other as you can see and then the mouth we're just going to fold it into two like that and put it over here like that so you can stuff uh, you can stuff it if you want to or you can just leave it like that Okay, and just to make sure uh, the mouth is tight over here You're just going to hold the two pieces together like that using a safety pin Okay, so you can see I'm just going this is my pin I'm going to put it here across from this other side of the mouth and then go through the other side like that okay okay and then now let's join the parts together so 
uh, I'm going to use the gray yarn so I'm going to take my yarn and then uh, put my needle through both sides like this and be careful uh, then this the spin is a little bit sharp so and then I'll do a chain one and then on uh, both sides both stitches I'm just going to do a single crochet and then I'll continue doing single crochet in the adjacent sides so make sure the sides are adjacent to each other okay so continue and do single crochet so that's how it's gonna look like and you continue like that all the way through through the tail like that all the way until you get here on this other side okay guys so after we get to this other side I'm just going to continue and finish up doing my single crochet joining the parts together and then I remove my pin and continue here like that and then when I get here where the mouth is I'm just going to again do a single crochet in the last stitch over here to make sure uh, it's well held or it's tightly held and then I'll do a chain one and then cut off the yarn okay and then now finish it up over here and cut off the yarn neatly and here okay so this is how the bottom side looks so for the upper side this is how it looks so you can uh, move the mouth a little bit as you can see okay so i embroidered the uh the little eyes over here or you can use uh the doll eyes if you have them okay so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this pattern if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and uh, please check out my other videos and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and until next time bye